Hey church, my name is Chip and I'm part of the missions team at Audacious Church. And I want to talk to you a little bit about today's devotion. The title that we're looking at is My Mission, My Influence. And not long ago, I actually got to go with Audacious Missions to Sheffield and help beef up some of what's already happening out there with our campus. Josh and Carly doing such a great job. And there was a great moment that I remember as one of my highlights where uh, we were doing this big party in the park. I mean, we did loads of stuff, actually, not just the party in the park, did loads of street witnessing, um, going out, doing outreach with people, uh, getting to know each other really well as a team. That was all really fun. But this particular day, it was during the party in the park, and there was a mom who sat there on the bench just watching her son play football with a load of church kids, which is awesome. And she was in her running gear. I could see that she'd just been out running. So it was a great start to a conversation. Felt the Holy Spirit nudge me just to go sit down next to her, start a conversation. And we did. We had a very long chat. We covered all kinds of terrain in our conversation. But it felt really natural. And every time I would start to go to talk about God stuff, I just felt the check of my spirit. God saying, hold up. Just wait for her to bring it up. Because it's going to mean a lot more if she's the one asking those questions. And that's what I did. Um, I just kind of waited for her to uh, begin to talk about God stuff. It came up through, uh, I won't get into all the details, but through something that happened with a family member with her. And, and so she was chatting about that, asking questions. Anyway, I don't need to go into all of the ins and outs uh, in case she might be watching this now. But it was just a really great moment where uh, she did start to talk about God stuff. We were able to have that conversation. And it went really, really well. Again, felt really natural, like it should be. And in the end, uh, I didn't end up praying the sinner's prayer with her or anything like that. But I did introduce her to Josh, and Josh Cocker, the pastor there at Sheffield campus. And they had a great conversation too. Anyway, there's a verse in the Bible, Luke chapter 12, verse 12. It says that the Holy Spirit will give you the words to say when you need them. And I found that to be true on so many levels, so many different occasions. The Holy Spirit's right there. You know, it's easy to get nervous about these things when we're on mission. But really, we live on mission. And our influence, that's a, a power word. But what that really means is our obedience. You know, Jesus gave us the great commission to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. That obey word, obedience. And I think as we are sensitive to the Holy Spirit, when we're acting out of obedience, that is our influence. The same influence that we've been shown that as, as Jesus has on us, we get to have that on others. So I want to encourage you, that's like today's thought, is just that our obedience is the beginning of our influence. Maybe you don't feel that you're a very influential person. You might be surprised to find how much influence you really carry. So let me pray for you really quick. Lord Jesus, I thank you for anybody watching this right now. I pray that even if they don't feel as though they have influence, that you would remind them that their influence starts with their obedience. Lord, give us some opportunities to live our lives on mission, not just to go on mission, but to always be on mission with you, with the power that you give us, that you provide us. Holy Spirit, would you just lead us today to be on mission, full of obedience, which is the beginning of our influence. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Hope you're well. Have a really great day.